Hello everyone, I'm Splinter Slug God, and welcome back to Bioshock. Why the hell is my freaking audio thing on there? Or my hints? Oh, you know, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Right. Anyway, so last time we got a bunch of Adam, and we now have our stuff upgraded, so we are going to continue. Alright, so last time we got some Adam. Now we are going to go to Su Chang's apartment to find the cure to get rid of our um I had thought probably disease. Something like that. I had I had that Ow. I don't like this any more than you do, kid. But you gotta understand where I'm coming from. I got 12 years down here. Big investment. Man can't walk away from a long con like that. Ooh, I see something up there. Ah, I don't even need it. Alright, let's go. Attention! A new curfew will be enacted on Thursday. Citizens found in violation will be relocated to Apollo Square. Good luck with that. No one's ever going to pay attention to those announcements anyway. I mean, think about it. Everyone's pretty much dead, right? Seems that way. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way, because the last time we ended up going down that way, we didn't go any of those rooms. So, let's continue. So, I saw a bird today. Um, apparently the bird must have hit something out on my back deck and then it got stuck on a gazebo fence. So I tried to save the bird and put it up on the deck and it ended up falling underneath the deck. So I just left the bird alone. Why stay on the sideline? With the new sport, the slide of investments can turn you into the jock always wanted to be. Come and visit us at the Med Fast for a few hours to our trial. You'll appreciate the difference. She will too. Alright. So, I saw the uh, ABCs of Death movie, and that was quite an experience, actually. It was one of the most bizarre, provocative movies I've ever seen. I do not recommend it if you are just trying to watch a film with good horror in it, but it's more of like a dark comedy, actually. Not something I would recommend everybody should see, but at least you can understand why. Let's go on. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's go to our objective first, because I think our objective is more important. That cannonball ain't what you think. Florence Nightingale, huh? That'll all come crashing down for you can say canned tomatoes. I've seen good bunko and I've seen great bunko. But when you waltz through Rapture and World War II without even a scratch, you got more than leprechauns watching over you. Thanks for that message, Frank Fontaine. I really appreciate it. Let's follow our objective. Just go this way. Well, oh, there it is. Huh. Fontaine should become some kind of boogeyman in Rapture. That myth gives him power. But peel back flim flam and a humbug, he's just another con man. And oh, like all con men, he worries he'll end up on the wrong side of grief. That's why he commissioned a lot of 192. The antidote to the mental control plasma. Fontaine said I'd better not tell anybody about the antidote. Not even Tenenbaum. And so Chong is inclined to listen. I knew there was something to that. Always secrets when with Su Chang, always secrets. He must have this lot 192 in his lab near Apollo Square. 
I once stole a dose and brought it back to my flat on the second floor, but those apes would have taken it back to Fontaine's penthouse upstairs. I never knew what Lot 192 was for, but if Su Chang was doing something in secret, on this I keep my eye. That's <laughs> so Arizona. Let's go in here. Wow. Kills me to turn my fist to you, but business is business. Don't let it get you down. Won't make a difference when this whole place is fish food. Well, thanks for manipulating me. I really appreciate that. I'm just the person who's trying to live their life, and you had to create the whole mind control device. Hello there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Pots and pans, get your pots and pans here. That's some of the finest quality this generation has ever seen. Get your pots and pans here. I am not selling pots and pans. I'm hitting them because I know they are so worthless. That tree's gonna happen. Uh oh. What the hell? Good try, man, but you didn't scare me that time. Alright, where are we where are we heading next? Let's go in this room. Let's go a Culpepper. Well that's a pleasant surprise. What the hell's whistling? Huh, smoke actually appears when you smoke a cigarette. That was me, right? Oh. Camera! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun? What do you have, Grenades? That guy was too easy to kill. Uh oh. Get him, machines! He's right there! Shoot him! He's right there! Oh my god. Right there. Shoot him. Shoot him. You got this. Death from the grave. Did it fall? Yes, it did. My machine is now more strong and more powerful than ever before. Is there anybody in the kitchen? Whiskey. All right. Let's go up this way. Hopefully, unless I have to go back. Let's go up. Red ribbon. Oh, sorry. I thought it said red robin. Sponsor. Watch me carefully sneak up on this person. <laughs> you are no match for my wrench. My wrench is all powerful. Why are you sending somebody over dead in a bathtub? That's not something you'd see any any day. Where's your friend? Oh, he was just dead in my bathtub. Cool story, bro. I guess there's nowhere else we can go. Let me just double check to make sure. Nothing wrong with double checking rooms. Sometimes you have to. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing here. No significance. Alright, let's keep going. We eventually have to make our way toward objective. But I think we should pay somebody a visit first. Let's go ahead and do that. Before we go anywhere else. S. Cohen. 
I hear your wings flapping in my home. Flip, flap, flip, flap, flip, flap. Come into the line, little mom. Come in. These assholes don't get it. <laughs> You're dancing without any music. Yeah, yeah right. He's gonna stick me, huh? Yeah. No, he's stick us all. Testing your wings. Just give it some time. Yeah, just a little time. Stay and enjoy the dance, if you wish. But don't dare rattle their rhythm. Ooh, look at electric bike. I wonder what that does. I don't have time for dancing. <laughs> These people should be punished. When will you ever learn to take <laughs> I'm coming down there, little boss. Coming down to teach you to dance. All right, bring it on. I have a wrench that has your name on it. Yep. Looks like that's on fire. Yes, you are. Oh, you're over here now. Where'd you go? Don't look at me. There you are. There you are. Get away! Ha ha ha! Here's Sandra Cohen now! Oh, the frickin' irony. <laughs> you see what I did there? I took a picture of his corpse while he told me to take a picture of four people's corpses. You get it? It's irony because I took a picture of him instead of me taking a picture of the people he told me to take a picture of. There, okay, you get the punchline. Sorry, I spend way too much time on that. Now we have his key and we can go up into his room. Ow! The hell? Hate to see you this way, kid. Hell, I was there when you were born. You ever have a dog you gotta put down? Breaks your heart. <laughs> he's probably lying to me. I don't think I don't think he's ever been around when I was born. Or maybe he has. That is a corpse in the bathroom. How wonderful. That is also another corpse. What is wrong with Sandra Cohen? No wonder he needed a wrench in the face. Alright. These are all dead bodies. Ooh, there is a power of the people station here. What shall we get now? Let's do the uh, consumption ray. That ought to make things better. Yep, this guy's a sick man. I think we should get out of here. All right, that's all for now. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Spinner God, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.